After logging on to portal.canopysimulations.com, you'll get to the simulations homepage. Here you'll find the inputs, so the ingredients of the simulation, car, weather, track, studies. This shows a list of the simulation results that have previously been run. Worksheets, a place where you can organize your inputs and your simulation results all in one folder for a specific event. And compute pool, a place where you can look at the details of the cloud computers that have been running your simulations. First, we'll go to the car configs. This is a list of previously saved cars. We'll hover over this up arrow to stage a car. This copies a snapshot of the car to this ribbon across the top of the page, which is what we call the staging area. We'll line up some weather and a track, and we'll give the simulation a name. Press commit to start that running. So dynamic lap is our fully optimal lap time simulation. Since we're computing simulations in parallel, we'll tee up some more. And if you want to read more about these simulation ty types, you can go to the documentation, scroll down to simulation types, and you'll find the details of these simulations. If we click on study, we can go to that list of simulations that have been run. We click on straight sim, and we'll take a look at the results. You see on the x-axis here, we have car speed. Um, every point in this simulation, the car is going in a straight line at constant speed with zero G long. So this is useful if you perhaps want to look at um, camber angle in a straight line or error balance, um, or you can change this. Uh, you might want to look at ride heights instead. And if you want to save this chart, we can give it a name. And if you click set default, then next time you open a straight sim, this chart will automatically appear. You can also change the units to your personal preference. If we click study, we'll go back to that list of simulation results again. we we'll find the Apex sim that we ran earlier. Here, the car is doing maximum GLAT. So this is steady state cornering and it might be more useful uh, to look at, say, mechanical balance uh, in a cornering si situation than it would be in a straight line. So here we can see how the mechanical balance varies at different speeds. One thing that you'll notice is that we keep adding to this list of simulations whenever the one is run. Uh, it might be handy to filter through those results. So you can filter by absolutely anything. It could be a single parameter in the car, for example, car mass. Uh, it could be the type of simulation. Um, in this example, I want to filter by who ran the simulation. So user ID, and that's me. Apply this filter, and it might be handy for you to save this filter. then next time you can quickly find that filter and get to your work straight away. There are other things that you can do to make it easier to find your work. So we can go into this straight sim, we can edit it, and we can give it some custom properties. So there are some example custom properties that have popped up here, there, which you can edit by clicking on your account name in the top right hand corner um, or you can add your own so um, season 2022 and then press save and you can see the seasons popped up there um, 
and you can filter by that as well and you can keep adding those custom properties and if you want to be more organized up front then you can go to the car editor and you can add custom properties here as well so they're saved alongside the car so here's some example events Barcelona power nor normal season 2022 you can also add some notes so issue one uh, initial so you've got two options you can either copy this car back to the staging area um, or you can save it either to the original uh, car config um, or as a new car config. I should note that the staging area is a temporary area for storing your simulation results. So when you press clear, that car is gone. Although there will be a warning if you've made changes to the car that won't be saved, it'll come up with an error. Um, so you need to remember to save that back to the original car. Now if we go to the list of simulations, we see the dynamic lap has run. So this is our fully optimal lap time simulation. And there we can see the results.